here next chapter chapter 2 fraction and decimals topic covered in this snack side chapter see here fraction types of fraction adding or subtracting fraction multiplying fraction dividing fraction decimals adding decimals subtracting decimal multiplying decimal dividing decimal fraction a fraction is a part of an entire object a fraction fractional number is a part of whole number a fraction has numerator and a denominator 3 upon 6 means 3 is numerator 6 is denominator it to the term on top is called numerator here 3 is numerator on the top is numerator and the term on the bottom is denominator example one whole shape this is a square circle and triangle this is half shape fraction this is single but red and violet here this is circle yellow and yellow something different here triangle blue and gray same way see here 1 upon third 1 upon 3 shape fraction here three part provided of same box here circle is also divided into three part and triangle is also divided in three part now type of fraction there are three major type of fraction proper fraction if the numerator of a fraction is less than denominator the fraction is said to be proper all the proper fraction are less than one example 2 upon 3, 1 upon 3, 5 upon 25. Improper fraction. If the number numerator of a fraction is greater than denominator, the fraction is said to be improper. Example 3 upon 2, 10 upon 3, 65 upon 25. Mixed fraction, a fractional number that contains a combination of whole number and a fraction is said to be a mixed fraction. Example, 2, 1 upon 3. When dividing two number, if a remainder arrives, the result of division can be represented as a mixed fraction of the form. Quotient, remainder upon divisor. Example, 11 upon 3 gives quotient 3, remainder 2, and divisor 3. So the mixed form will be 3, 2 upon 3. Addition and subtraction of fraction. If the denominator of both fractions are same, add only numerator value. Take denominator common from both addition and subtraction. Example, solve 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6. Solution. The bottom, no bottom number are different, so we need to make them same before proceeding further. Number 6 is twice as big as 3. So make the bottom number same. We will multiply the top and bottom of first fraction by 2 like this. Here 1 is multiplied by 2 comes here 2 and 3 is also multiplied by 2 comes here 6. Here 1 upon 3 equal 2 upon 6. Now the fraction have the same denominator number 6 and look like this 2 upon 6 plus 1 upon 6 
denominator of both fraction is same so add only the numerator taking the denominator common Two upon six plus one upon six equal two plus one. Here numerator is two and one. So here two plus one whole upon six equal three. Two plus one is three. Three upon six equal one upon two. multiplying fraction in order to multiply two fractions multiply the numerator and denominator separately to get the new fraction example 1 upon 2 into 2 upon 3 equal 2 upon 6 dividing fraction the mechanism of division is as follows n1 upon d1 n2 upon d2 equal n1 into d2 d1 into n2 remember a divide b means a into 1 upon b and a divide b upon c means a into c upon b example 1 upon 4 divide 9 upon 3 equal 1 into 3 whole upon 4 into 9 this 1 into 3 upon 4 into 9 equal 3 upon 36. Decimal. Decimal are fraction in, dis in distinguished. Any number can be written in decimal system using only 10 basic symbols. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Decimal position are shown below. Thousand. Thousand means 0 0.001 hundredth means 0 0.01 tenth means 0 0.1 left of the decimal point one place to the left of decimal point is referred to as the unit place two place to the left of the decimal point is the tenth place three place to the left is hundredth place four place is the thousand place and so on right of the decimal point one place to the right of decimal point is referred as to tenth place two place to the right of decimal point is hundredth place three place right is the thousand place four place right the ten thousand place and so on adding decimal when the decimal in a column with the decimal point vertically aligned add enough zeros to right of the decimal point so that every number has an entry in each column to the right of decimal point add the number in the same way as whole number place a decimal point in the sum such that it is directly beneath the decimal point example add to 23.143 comma 3.2756 and 11.48 now solution here now given us same thing comes here 23 23.1430 3.2756, 3 3.2756, 11.48, 11.4800. Now comes here 6. Now this 0 is added 
one zero is added in the beginning and two zero is added in the lower one. So comes here six five plus three eight and we here nine. Here comes here two one three four eight. Here also three three six seven comes and two one three. In this way we make the addition of this decimal number. Subtracting decimal. When write the number that is being subtracted from the number from which we have to subtract right in the beginning write the number that is being subtracted below the first number so that the decimal point of the bottom number is directly below and lined up with the top decimal point add zero to the right side of decimal with Fewer decimal place so that each decimal has same number of the decimal place. Subtract the number, subtract the bottom number from the top number. Example: subtract 3.2756 from 11.48. Solution here: 11.48 and 20 is added from own cells. Subtract 3.2756. Now we can easily subtract, and we got after subtracting value is about 8.2044. Multiplying decimal line up the number on the right, do not align the decimal point. Starting on the right, multiply each digit in the top number by each digit in the bottom number, just as with the whole number. Add the product, place the decimal point in the answer by starting at the right and moving a number of place equal to the sum of decimal place in both numbers multiplied. Example: Multiply. 3.77 and 2.8 solution here 3.77 two decimal place and 2.8 one decimal place both is multiply comes here 3.016 again here next multiplication 7.54 after adding this both comes here 5 here 6 5 5.10 here the three decimal place comes after multiplication. Dividing decimal. If the divisor is not a whole number, move the decimal point in the divisor all the way to right to make it a whole number. Move the decimal point in the dividend, the same number of place. Divide as usual. If the divisor does not go into dividend evenly, add 0 to the right of last digit in the dividend and keep dividing until it comes out evenly or repeating pattern shown up. Put the decimal point in the quotient exactly above where it occurs in the dividend. Example, find the quotient 3, 1, 5, 315.3 divided 0 0.3. Solution, we first remove the decimal point from the denominator by multiplying both numerator and denominator with 10, 100 or 1000 accordingly to remove decimal point from the divisor. Then we perform the operation of dividend as is what here 315.3 divide 0 0.3 since the divisor is a one place decimal so we multiply dividend by 10 to convert into a whole number 315.3 divide 0 0.3 equal 3.15.3 into 10 0 point divide 0 0.3 into 10 equal 
315 3153 upon 3. Now this will be divided as usual. Now 3153 shall be divided by 3. See here, after dividing, we can easily divide. 3, 3 cancel, comes here, 1, 15, 5, comes bottom, 15 comes, 3, 3, and this comes here, 0. After dividing, 300, 153 1, by 3 comes here, our answer, it is 1051. It means here when dividing 315.3 divide 0 0.3 equal 1051.